Hi there. Um, the purpose of this screencast is to um, um, help provide a, an update to staff in the college uh, about the My Ayrshire College app, um, which is available on um, iOS and Android. It is also available on a web browser by going to the appropriate URL. Um, so what I'm going to demonstrate today is just uh, the app itself um, in iOS. Um, it's very simple to download by just going to um, the, the Apple Store and, 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 and basically typing in My Ayrshire College, you'll find it there. Um, it takes, um, takes literally a few seconds to download. The app itself, I'm just going to click on it, open it up there. Uh, you can see that it opens up and we have an app that's got a, a range of tiles within it. Um, really, this is um, the kind of jumping off point for, for the students with regards to um, um, their studies in the college um, and really all the online content that, that we have available for them. Um, I mean, first of all, we the main tell that we want to direct the students to initially is the, the, the student induction. Um, so if I click on this tile here, what actually happens is it opens up the, the ready mag that's been produced by the marketing department, which really has all the information in it um, that the, the students um, need to access, um, which will help them orientate themselves um, with the college. We've um, got the video galleries um, of both the principals and vice principals, um, keeping safe around the campus, um, COVID information within it as well. Um, return to campus videos about being on campus and so on, fire evacuation. It really has everything there. Uh, the app itself, to navigate around it, you know, if you just go up and use the hamburger kind of symbol at the top left-hand side, then you go back to basically the dashboard that's available to the student, which is the student 2021-22 dashboard. You can also navigate the app by going through any of the things um, to the left-hand side as well to actually go to a specific section. So that was the student in, uh, induction. There's also the uh, Do You Need a Digital Device, which is the application form for students that may need to apply for a digital device. You can click on that and it will load up the form, allow you to complete the form, and then, like I say, back again. You just come back out and go to the student dashboard. Similarly, we've got the student um, senior student agreement. Um, we're looking for the students to come in to the app and basically sign the agreement and submit it. Um, we've then got a range of tiles here. This is the attendance tile. There's nothing in this at this point in time because this actual student, that, uh, test student that I've got in here has not actually started the course. But what this would display is their semester one, um, you know, attendance within the app. Absence self-certification. This would be if they were self-certificating um, uh, an absence in the college. College information, access to the college policies um, that's, that's appropriate for them. Back to the main dashboard button there. There's a newsroom as well, which they have access to, where they can um, look at articles that were posted from the marketing department. They can also pick a variety of feeds uh, to include some stuff um, or um, um, opt out of certain things. We've then got a range of social media tiles. Down the right-hand side, we've got a couple of um, uh, tiles that take them through to um, My Learning um, and then My Courses. Um, to, they would select the My Learning tile and then that would ask them to probably authenticate um, with Moodle. Once they then authenticate with Moodle, um, they can then actually just come to My Courses and it will list any courses there. Um, that are the courses that they have to go to and then it gives them a quick link directly through to um, um, working um, in Moodle. Student funding takes through to student funding information for the students. Student experience takes them through to student experience and a variety of services that are available for them. Um, that they can click on and link through to. Learning resource takes you through to the library um, 
system, but at the moment I've got no library items out against this student. That would show the many resources that they had out. Some of the very popular uh, bits within it is actually just the simple things like uh, the students have an access to um, their mail. And being able to look at their college emails. Likewise, their, call their calendar. And being able to see what's in their calendar. ICT support just links them out to the information on the website from ICT about any support that they might need. Student records just links through to the student records information and just gives them a bit of information about changing of details or anything like that and what the student services, uh, sorry, what the student records department does. So I hope you find this um, very quick introduction to the My Ayrshire College app um, very useful. Um, and hopefully uh, that will help you be able to guide your students uh, into how to use the app. Um, thank you.